today I was going to do a little bit of doming on this piece that I've already casted with um, liquid diamonds and it has been um, popped out of the mold and I wanted to do a little bit of doming with artworks and so I thought I would do a little bit of it um, on video today to show you um, a little bit how I work things. So. Um, what I'm doing, because it's very, very cold in my house right now, what I've done is I have set my Artworks Part A. I've got this zo zoomed in really close, but Part A in a little tub of warm water right out of the tap. Not hot, just warm water right out of the tap. It's been sitting there for about 15 minutes. And so um, that is just to... Uh, Get it a little bit more fluid because it would normally come out pretty thick out of the bottle um, when it's that cold. And then be sure and dry off your bottle so that you don't get any drippy water when you're measuring out your epoxy resin. I'm going to make a very, this is a pretty large piece. Um, it may not look like it on video, but this is a, a fairly large piece and I want to work kind of slowly when I'm doming um, because I want to be very careful so that it doesn't drip over the edges. Uh, so I'm going to work on just the heart first and see how far I can get with that. I'm going to mix up about 20 mils first and see how far I get with the heart and then working out. Artworks is a one-to-one -one, of course. So and then hopefully you can see how easy that pours once it's been warmed up. Okay, so there's about 10. This is a very tiny batch, very, very tiny, obviously. But I'm just doing a little bit of doming. Put my caps back on before I knock something over. I always, always, always use a plastic stir stick and not a wooden stick to stir with, no matter if I'm using artworks or liquid diamonds. And that is because wood is porous and it will introduce additional bubbles into your epoxy resin. So, and then the other thing I always have gotten into the habit of doing from the very beginning when I first started working with resin is I've gotten into the habit of stirring my resin for four minutes. So I'm not going to bore you with you watching me uh, stir this for four minutes. I'll just speed this up so that we can get through that pretty quickly. Okay, so as you can see, probably there are some bubbles in here. Uh, Artworks is a medium viscosity epoxy and um, almost always when you stir, there are going to be some, some bubbles. Uh, that's just from mixing air in when you're mixing. That's okay, don't panic. You're gonna sit, uh, let it sit for just a couple of minutes and let it degas. Let some of those bubbles rise to the top um, just give it a chance. Uh, Artworks is sort of a faster curing. It's not a fast cure, but it does cure faster than some resins do. So um, don't let it sit too, too long. You don't want to let it sit for 15 minutes because it's going to start um, speed curing on you and it's going to get real hot real fast and you're, it's going to get too thick for you to work with. Uh, but let it sit for a minute or two. Let it degas. Um, let it have a little bit of a chance for some of those bubbles to rise to the top. So I'm just going to set this right here for a moment and we'll speed up the video again.
Okay, so here we go. Here's what we have left. And like I said, there, there are still going to be a few bubbles on the top. I'm not worried about that because we're going to torch those after we start applying. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it. I don't want to get it too thick. And then what I do is I go ahead and just start, I've got a pretty big surface area here. So I'm going to go ahead and drip some on. When you're doming, it's always best to do less and then you can always go back and do more. Now what I like to do is I've got one of these little silicone flat brushes. All of these tools that you see me using, you can get on my website at thecraftattack.com. These are really, really helpful for just nudging the epoxy right to the edge. You really just don't want to push it over the edge and break that surface tension. across it real quick just to get the bubbles off the top. And you're done. These domey mats, by the way, are very, very good for doming because if you do happen to get any runoff off the edge of your pieces, um, what happens is it's going to go right off onto these little um, spikes, these little silicone spikes, and down into the mat. So it's not going to go up under your piece and ruin the underside of your piece. It's just going to go right un into the little spikes. So these are great for whole lifting up your pieces. Um, uh, again, I sell those on my website also. So um, that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's, that's going to... Um, that's going to provide a really nice dome. So um, I will probably continue on with another letter or two, and then we'll see if the epoxy gets too, too thick to work with, then I'll just mix up another batch. But um, that's how I do my doming. I hope you find it helpful.